So every 2,000 years, every 2,150 years, we have a new age. And each new age has its Messiah. Yes? This Messiah is the one who represents the teaching, the understanding of that age. So we've just come out of the age of Pisces, which is also known as the age of the martyr. And which greater martyr was there than Jesus being sacrificed on the cross? Right? And before that, before the age of the martyr, we had the age of the warrior, the hero. Moses that led the Israelis from the rulership of Egypt. Yes? And Moses that came with the Ten Commandments. So the Ten Commandments were the knowledge of the age of the warrior. And the Gospel of Jesus became the knowledge of the age of the martyr. And now we've moved into, we're moving into the age of wisdom, the age of understanding, the age of the teacher is the age of Aquarius, the bearer of truth. The carrier of water. Water represents truth. The teacher who bears the truth. So in the time of Jesus, in the time of the martyr, Jesus spoke in parables. And when the disciples asked him, why, why do you speak in parables to the people? Why don't you just tell them the truth? And he said to his disciples that at that time it's it's people did not have the understanding to grasp something like the perennial truth so instead he spoke to them in parables and stories that they could relate to but now the normal average person has come a long way since then, 2,000 years. Now everyone can read and everybody can write. And most people have the mental capacity to grasp, to understand the truth of this existence. We're not there yet. We're right in the beginning of this age. But it's fair to say that within the next few centuries, we'll identify what this truth is. What is the truth that defines this age? This age of the teacher, the age of knowledge. You need only to look around you to realize that we're in this information age. We're in this age of knowledge. It's all around us, on Google. Anything you want to know is being shared, right? You want to know anything? It's a few thumb clicks away. Just a century or two ago, most people couldn't even read or write. Look at where we are now. Yes? So every time that this Messiah comes, it will be the Messiah of the new age. It won't be the old Messiah. In the time of Jesus, they were awaiting a warrior, one that would lead them from dominance by the Romans 
one that would overthrow the Romans. But the Messiah that came wasn't a warrior. The Messiah that came was a martyr. And now, in this new age, we are waiting the martyr again. The Messiah that will come won't be a martyr. Instead, the Messiah will be a teacher, a rabbi, a teacher, a teacher of the truth. So each age has its own Messiah. Each age has its own new religion. And the religion will be what's suitable for people at that time. Yes? It transforms. Even religions aren't dead. Even religions don't stay the same forever. They change. They evolve. As mankind's evolve, mankind's religions evolve. 